here's a question that was sent to me and uh, thought it might make a good video for designing a home edition. The individual said that they have a gable roof and they'd like to put a room edition on the side and they're worried about running out of room and they're absolutely right if they were to extend the roof line eventually you're going to get to a point where you're not going to have a lot of headroom and if that's the case all you need to do is switch the roof do not continue it sloping down on the side start with another gable roof and have it die back into the roof as you can see in this example here, it works out pretty good. You have the gable on this side. This is the existing building here. And then the home addition would simply die into the existing roof. The ridge would come back and then you would have a valley on each side. It would look something like that. Hope that makes sense. Now this is more along the lines of what the people sent me, a floor plan design of what they had. And this is more along the lines of what they would end up with. So you would have a gable on this end and then you would have a hip on this end. Now you could always extend this past if you could. And then you would just have a full gable on this end and it would die back into the roof here. So if this building was rectangular shaped here, this would be a full gable to go all the way over. But this is uh, how it would work out. You would have a valley here, a ridge, and then of course a hip would come down to another valley and then you would have a you would have a ridge over here. This would give us a better idea what it would look like. You can see here that we have the gable for the addition coming down, a ridge dying back into a hip, back to a ridge. And then, of course, this plane here is flat. And then, let's go back here. Then this part of the roof, a valley, and then a hip, and then another valley. There is another way you can do this. You can have a full gable on each end. A gable, the ridge would be here, and then would come up to another ridge and then a valley and a valley. This ought to give you a better idea what you would be looking at. You can see here that we have a gable on this end and of course a gable on this end. The rafter would just come down or the fascia board to the top of the ridge here. And this is a common method also used for this type of design.